Hi everyone, um, it's me again, I haven't made a video in a long time. Um, I wanted to talk about, um, relationships and one that I had previously. It's kind of a response to the video that he put up, but, <clears throat> um, some of you have maybe, uh, watched, uh, Kid Drake's videos and, um, tell you the truth, the girl that he was talking about in his last video was me. Um, I am his ex-girlfriend, and, uh, to tell you the truth, I really do, uh, regret breaking up with him. And I didn't want to, you know, we were going through things, we were fighting, and, you know, it's not that he was bad to be with, he's such a wonderful person to be with. And, uh, we were together for a long time. Um, uh, we were together almost more longer than I was with my first love that I was with, and, um, <clears throat> Kid Drake has, uh, he's been a very good boyfriend to me, but just things weren't clicking. I don't know what it was, I mean, he's gorgeous. Ladies, I don't know if you think so, but I think he is. He's got beautiful green eyes that change, and... I like his hair, he's got a gorgeous smile that he needs to show often, and he's just a very wonderful person, and he doesn't believe so. And I'm also a God-loving person, and uh, he just needs to believe that there is somebody else out there, even though I may not be the one. I mean, I may go back to him, but you know, everybody's saying that I shouldn't. I mean, like, I'm saying he mentioned his friends said that I shouldn't go back with them because, you know, I broke up with them for other, for other boys, which was not true. Um, the first time I broke up with him, uh, I didn't break up with them for another person. It was, um, because things weren't clicking. He wasn't, I felt like he wasn't listening to me. I felt like, <clears throat> um, he wasn't giving me any space and... I mean, I sound like a guy when I say this because guys usually like the space and, you know, girls never really complain about the space. I mean, me, I'm a clingy person. So, um, I like the attention and the kissing and the hugging, you know, because I'm, I'm an affectionate person. I love that kind of thing. Um, I've been single for four days now. Um, how it started, let's see, the first time I broke up with him, I went with this guy named Sean. And, um, it was quick. Uh, it was about, I think, two weeks out of when I broke up with him, and I know that's quick, because we were together for a long while, and I, it was the first time I ever broke up with him, and I didn't break up with him for another person, it's just things happen. And, um, Sean got a hold of me and said he wanted to start talking, and I said, okay, and so we just started dating, and we dated for about three months, and it was a mistake of dating him. And, um, not gonna get into details, but, um... Just, I guess, things didn't work out, and I was very, um, ver uh, I was not really devastated, I was just very heartbroken, because I really thought this boy was going to be the one, um, but somehow along down the road, I knew something was kind of going to be tiffy, so, um, let me see how many minutes I got here. Okay, I got three minutes, okay. So, um... I'm doing this on my phone once again. I gotta get a camera and I don't have one. So, anyways. <clears throat> um, yeah, so me and Sean didn't work out. And then, uh, about... I think it was... A few weeks later, or a few months later, I went back out with Kid Drake. And, um... We lasted, I think, a few months. I don't remember, because it, it felt like it was forever ago. And, um... It, it wasn't working out again. I felt like there was nothing just cooking because I thought he had changed. Because he told me he was going to change for me, that things were going to be better. And I said, okay, I'll give him a chance. So I went back out with him and things weren't working. And, um, and uh, so I broke up with him again. And uh, this time when I did, I met a wonderful person named uh, Bobby. And Bobby was just amazing. There was nothing wrong with him. The only thing that really didn't... That was a major turn off, really, as you could say, is that he wasn't Christian. Um, and it's uh, since I'm a Christian, it's, to me, it's, it's 
a bit easier to date guys who won't believe in God. Sean, on the other hand, was not a Christian. He w used to be. But um, the thing that really hurt the most was that he, he said that the Bible was a, you know, a big joke. You know, and I'm like, that really offends me. You know, the, the Bible's not a big joke. I mean, just because you can't see something doesn't mean it's not there. You know, so. Um, but Bobby, um, he, let, he, he doesn't mind going to church. He has a Bible. Um, but he doesn't, he believes that something is there, but he doesn't really totally believe the whole Jesus thing. And, um, that kind of, that kind of, uh, turned me off a bit. And I'm like, that's okay, you know, I, nobody's perfect, and maybe I can lead him down the God path, but didn't work. So, um, me and Bobby were only together for a month, and it felt like forever, because me and him clicked so well. And he's a, you know, a gorgeous boy, a wonderful person. He's probably the best that I've had besides Kidrick. I mean, but Bobby was really patient with me. He always listened. He helped me, spoiled me rotten. He was a really wonderful person. I mean, that's not because I went out with him, but he was a really good person. He really liked me. And for the longest time, uh, for the first time, I really thought Bobby was going to be the one for me, but he wasn't. Um, let me check. I need to see if I'm going to go over 15 minutes. Okay, I got time. So, um, uh, yeah, so like I said, um, Bobby was such a wonderful person. I know I said that a lot, but he really was. I mean, I didn't really get enough time to get to know who he was, but he's a wonderful person. If you ever come across him, you know, he, he gets along with everybody. Uh, he acts like a big kid is what I loved about him the most. He's so funny. He dances amazingly. He's just a great person. Um, Sean was a gorgeous person too, but, you know, I don't really want to go much into that. It was kind of hurting too, but Bobby was probably the most, um, hurtful, um, relationship that I was in. Um, what's strange is that, um, I had this, uh, my first love, um, he, we were together for almost eight, uh, yeah, almost eight months, and, um, uh, being broken up with Bobby was more painful than being broken up in that other relationship that I was in, um, first love. And I don't know why, but it was. And I was, I don't know, I just, I'm so in love with him. I mean, I'm starting to get over him now. I mean, I still love him, but... Those last couple of days was just terrible. It was just a lot more painful. And the weird thing is is that, like, not really getting over him, but, like, the um, the grieving ended shortly than my, uh, the other relationship that I was in, the, um, my first love. It's just weird how that works out. <clears throat> and then, um, he broke up with me. After being with a month, and, you know, I understood why, because he was really stressed with school and his parents, and I understood that. At first I didn't, but I was like, you know, I, I, don't, I don't get it, we can work this out together. But, you know, it was just painful for him, so, you know, he had to break it off, and he even came by to uh, apologize and all of that. One second. Okay. And, um, so he came over to apologize, gave me a hug, tell me he loved me still, and it was, it was a good, painful conversation, but, I mean, because I was crying like a baby, of course, but... Um, it, it went by good as, as, uh, it went, um, uh, it went better than I expected. Um, so that happened. And then, um, <clears throat> and then, uh, Kid Drake, um, uh, Steven, um, he was wanting to come back to me. I said, you know what, I'm not ready. You know, it's like, I, I, I don't, um... I, I don't want to just yet, and, um, after Bobby, um, there was this boy that I met, uh, at this anime convention I go to, I go to anime conventions, they're awesome, uh, the last an uh, anime convention in January, I met this guy, uh, named Chris, and, uh, Chris is a really, uh, God-loving person, too, and, um, and a uh, really gorgeous boy, you know, he was a really nice boy, and he was funny, and, you know, um, didn't really have enough time to get to know him, because a couple days later, he broke up with me, because he felt that it wasn't really working out, and I got really confused, I'm like, we haven't even been dating that long, you know, and so, um, 
I was really disappointed about that. I wasn't crying, but, you know, my heart was racing. I was getting really hot in the face because I was really upset. Not really angry, but I was like, oh, my God, you know, why is this happening? I really like that boy, you know. And uh, I know it seems like I get over people fast, but that's not really the case. Um, but, uh, excuse me. Um, so, um, he broke up with me last Thursday and I was at church when that happened. So it was kind of a bad time. And someone came to my rescue. It was Steven. He wanted to be there for me and he dropped everything he was doing. And I told him, I said, you know, I can't take this anymore. I said, you know, I, I'm just so done. And he's like, well, do you want me to be down there? I'll be down there. And I said, you can do, I don't care. Just do whatever you want to do. He's like, okay, I'm coming. And he was there for me the rest of the night at a uh, youth group. And uh, I was really happy to have him there because I felt better when he came. And um, uh, it's been four days since I've been single. And I hate being single. I'm hating it already. And um, it's going to take time for me to, you know, um, get back to the dating stage. Who knows how long it might take. You know, there's no one good at my high school you know, I don't, I don't usually believe in high school dating anyways. Uh, always drama and crap like that, so I stay out of that. Um, but I know this is going on for 11, but I had a lot to talk about, so. Um, but yeah, this is just a response video. I don't mean to embarrass you, sweetie, I'm sorry. I just wanted to respond to the video and tell you how much that I do love you. I love you very much. And I'm sorry about all those times that I hurt you. I did not mean to hurt you. I just don't know why that it just can't click with me and you. Maybe along the road it will. Um, I also want to tell you that I love you too. And that uh, you don't need to be sad. That I'll always be here for you. And that uh, I'll try and do my best to take care of you whenever you need me. And um, I hope that uh, things will go good with me and you. So, um, I hope you all like this video, um, it's also just to vent and just to tell you how things are going with me, um, gotta hurry up, it's almost 15 minutes, um, it's going on 12 minutes right now, so I got a little bit of time, um, yeah, so, uh, sweetie, I just wanted to tell you that I do love you, and don't, everything's gonna be fine, just don't, uh, don't worry, and, um, Everything will turn out right. Just take, let's take time on it. Let's not rush through it. I told you, just don't rush through it. And, um, yep. So if, uh, also, um, let me say this. I have a little bit of time left. Um, if any of you have any questions, if you need help with any relationships, I'm not the best at it, but, um, I'm very good with helping people. Um, my dad studied, um, psychiatry, psychiatry, and so, um, he's studied it on me, so I'm pretty good with it. I'm not a pro, but I'm good at, with helping people. So, um, me and, St uh, me and Kidrick will probably be starting a channel together. We're gonna try, since I can do this on my phone, so we can do this on my phone. Um, but, uh, if you have any questions, I will try to upload videos daily. Um, I'll try my best with it. Uh, me and him can probably switch off of videos. I don't know. Oh, I need to hurry. Um, so, yes, just uh, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Uh, please don't write anything bad on this video. I was just venting out and uh, simply writing a response. Uh, writing. Um, videoing, video recording uh, a response to his video. So, um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Bye.